predicting thousands of job cuts tonight. The question everyone's asking, how is Charlotte going to deal with this? Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Copeland in for Sonia Gant. And I'm Dave Wagner. Thanks for being with us. It's not clear yet just how many of those Bank of America jobs will disappear here in Charlotte. But one thing is clear. We're going to all feel the effects of this. So we sent News Channel 36 reporter Rad Berkey to ask city leaders what they are doing to bring in new jobs. He has exclusive information live now from the Government Center tonight. Rad? Well, Dave, as we all know, city leaders got a wake-up call back in September with the turmoil at Wachovia. That turmoil has now spread to the tower there, the Bank of America tower behind me. And But when I went out today to ask city leaders some questions, the economics job picture they paint is not as bleak as you might think. Uh, we're sobered by the headlines coming out of Bank of America today. The Chamber of Commerce president may be down, but he's not out of business ideas that he says will work in Charlotte. Bob Morgan says despite the economy, the Chamber has helped bring 12,000 new jobs to the area this year. Just today, we've announced that a New Zealand manufacturer of hybrid buses uh, is going to open a manufacturing plant in Charlotte. At least 200 more workers will be hired here to build buses like this one. That's good news, but Charlotte has always prospered as a hub for banking, not bus building. Someone laid off from a bank in Charlotte is not going to go make buses. No. But John Lasseter, who chairs the City Council's Economic Development Committee, says there are bank-related job possibilities, too. You've heard talk of GMAC looking at, at opening here. Um, they can pick up a lot of the folks that might decide to leave Wachovia or Bank of America and go right to work doing very similar things. Everyone agrees Charlotte is still an attractive place to do business. I think the real challenge facing us as a community is how do we kind of remix the job pool? So that hybrid bus plant that we were talking about may be the wave of the future. Reporting live with our mobile newsroom in Uptown Charlotte, Radberkey News Channel 36. Well, a major